This election day, boy, it certainly does feel like we are living in a nation divided, doesn't it? According to the Pew Research Center, Democrats and Republicans are farther apart ideologically now than at any time in the last 50 years. I don't know how you show that statistically, but that's what they've come up with. The question is, has that deep division made its way to the dating scene? Yes. The short answer and is. And so, who cares? <laughs> yes. This is a big deal. So a 2020 YouGov poll, now think about what's happened since 2020. A 2020 YouGov poll found that 86% of Americans think it's become harder to date someone who supports the opposing political party. That was two years ago. You gotta think it's gotten worse. According to the BBC, experts on all thing American, by the way, <laughs> uh, the experts say that who you vote for is now among the most important factors in developing an intimate relationship. Oh, please. That's what Kent, the people who I are on the dating it. scene say. No, and no, and no. that stat cuts across, You're doing it wrong. <laughs> cuts across generational you? lines. This makes it particularly challenging, think about this, for singles who live in places where they are in the political minority. Mm -hmm. Now think about this, as more and more singles pair up with partners who share their politics, there's a good chance that those same beliefs will likely be passed on to their kids. A 2017 study suggested that this could just amplify the polarization in this country by creating more kind of homogenous households and social networks, basically like tribes setting up <laughs> you know what i'm saying Maybe like you, you, i only some, date among my own tribe, tribe and then would be not a bad thing <laughs> if we got a little more tribal <laughs> wow i feel like we're kind of there i do too at this point but this is so true i was in the dating scene i'm going to i mean way more recently than you and right. slightly more recently than you and if i sat down with a guy on the first date and he started blurting out politics that was very, very, very different than what I believe, it wouldn't have worked. It wouldn't have mattered to me if it was what I believed or not. If that's what you're going to talk about on the first, first day, date, I then that's, that's not bigger... somebody that I'm really interested in spending any any quality a time lot of with. people do. Well, fine, then they can find each other. They're yeah. not going to be dating me, and I'm not going to be buying no steaks for anybody that comes in <laughs> talking <laughs> politics. Right? politics. I would never so do the... a steakhouse on the first date. No, no? I, would, no? I, I would say, let's have our salad and right. see how the conversation progresses because if it goes the wrong way, I ain't up. Then you can just choke on the lettuce and get out.